Freddie Spencer and Marco Lucanelli and uh, Kenny Roberts still contesting that third place. Plenty of bite left in this race yet. Marco having a nibble. Can he go down the inside of Kenny? No, he can't. Very difficult part of the track, this. Kenny reckoned that this is the key point on the race circuit, he told me in practice. And Kenny Roberts and Marco Lucanelli. Kenny getting a bit of a wobble on. Past the pitch, still Kenny in third place, but Marco is turning up the wick of the Honda. And you have to be so careful on these 125 mile an hour motorcycles. Just a bit too much of the throttle hand and it'll spit you off and down the road and that's not a pleasant experience at all. Graham Crosby still after that pair. Kenny, world champion for three years. But lost it last year to the man he's racing against. Still leading Franco and Cini. Franco, the former Harley Davidson rider. Franco started racing in 1974. And as I said, in 1977 was the runner up in the 250 World Championship. Now a fully fledged Suzuki rider. And Barry Sheen out of it. And I have just heard from the pits that Barry Sheen had engine problems. They're not quite sure what the problem actually is. That's uh, Pelletier on his uh, Morbidelli. But Barry Sheen thinks that perhaps it was an ignition problem or maybe even a crankshaft broken, but uh, he is definitely out of the race. Well, Barry Sheen will almost certainly drop now from his second place in the World Championship. It means he really will have to work hard at the next event at Assen in four weeks' time to make up the deficit which is lost today. Never a happy weekend for Barry Sheen, but a very good one, so far at least, for Franco and Cini. 27-year-old, married, comes from Racconati in Italy. I hope I've pronounced that one right. And there you see the floodlights. This, I think, is the only race circuit in the world where they can hold racing under floodlights. And indeed they do, car racing, in fact, uh, not bike racing so far. Ten years this circuit has been built. And there, after 16 laps, Franco Ancini, you see, is leading by 2.25 seconds from Spencer. Third is Roberts, fourth Lucanelli, fifth Crosby, sixth Ballington, and Barishin, of course, now completely off the frame. Fine mixture of curves here at the Mazzano track. And this long, fast straight, and there you see Graham Crosby shooting past the back marker. And is now very much hounding Lucanelli and Roberts. Freddie Spencer, his spectacular style on the Honda number 22. There is number three and number one. And look, Graham Crosby is right up behind Marco Lucanelli now. And he just powers past him as they race past the pits. Graham Crosby goes past the Honda. I'm not sure if Marco's got a bit of engine problem. But Graham Crosby is really on his way. Graham Crosby has never won a world championship race. Came to Britain three years ago and was a sensation on a high bar Kawasaki. Did extremely well at the TT. Has since been back to the TT and won there. Freddie Spencer has never been to the TT and he leads a group of back markers. They're starting to go through the field now. Up to about 13th place, that group battling for 13th, 14th, 15th positions. And now Graham Crosby on the tail of Kenny Roberts. Randy Mamola in the picture has been lapped. Randy Mamola having a very unhappy race. Oh yes, and Randy's in the pits. Randy has just pulled into the pits out of our picture. Talking to manager Jim Doyle, it looks like, yes. Jim Doyle leaning over. Randy shakes his head. Well, what can the problem be? Only four points in the World Championship so far this year. And an absolutely dreadful season for Randy on his factory Suzuki. But this factory Suzuki is undoubtedly in the lead now. Ten seconds after 30 laps. Recorded distance. Franco and Cini is leading. From Spencer, Crosby, Roberts, Lucanelli and Ballington. That order fairly well set. Although Lucanelli could move up and repass Kenny Roberts. There is Graham Crosby. 
Kiwi star. Currently learning to fly, enjoys flying. Very erudite young man. Has had his arguments with Randy Mamola, was Randy's teammate last year, and fell out with Randy in the biggest possible way. And in fact, Suzuki sacked Crosby at the end of the year. Now he's with Yamaha. Freddie Spencer is, is with Honda. A three cylinder bike. Certainly showing it's the equal of the majority of the Yamahas and Suzuki's. And that wasn't the case last year or the year before. Great return to 500cc racing after a full start by Honda. And Freddie Spencer, a great find. 20 years old now, was a teenage sensation. Many bike fans will remember how he came to the transatlantic races. Oh, and a crash! That looks like Sergio Pellandini. Pellandini, the Swiss rider, is down. He looks OK. And his bike doesn't look too badly damaged. Well, they can spit you off so quickly, those bikes. Medical aid, very quick to Pellandini. Oh, he's not unconscious. He looks OK. He might have a, perhaps a broken collarbone. That's one of the regular injuries in motorcycle racing. Pellandini looks OK. And actually, his bike doesn't look too bad either. Well, Franco Ancini very definitely in command of this motorcycle race. Looks all set to score 15 World Championship points unless something goes wrong in the closing stages. A fine, neat style of Franco. He's the rider's representative, incidentally, on the FIM. He advises on circuit safety, and he was the man that led the boycott at Nagaro. Well, now he comes to the finish line, and Franco Ancini has won it on unlucky number 13. Lucky today for Franco Ancini. He waves to the 60,000 Italian fans and he'll beat the darling of those fans for certain. There's the order, Ancini first, second Spencer, third Crosby, fourth Roberts, good ride from Crosby, fifth Lucinelli, sixth Cork Ballington, seventh Katayama, and a very happy Franco Ancini giving the Roberta Galina team Great win, and he pops a wheelie, celebrates his victory with a wheelie. Oh, they're just coming into the picture. Second place for Freddie Spencer, his best World Championship finish, and the best World Championship finish by Honda with their new three-cylinder racer. So now it's the victory scenes, and they're the World Championship, and that puts Uncini in the lead of the World Championship, equal with Kenny Roberts, both on 48 points. Barry Sheen still has 36. Graham Crosby, 26 after his fine ride. Fifth, Freddie Spencer, 22. Sixth, Lucanelli, 18. And Takazumi Katayama on the third Honda. He now has 16 World Championship points. Well, it's time for the victory celebrations now for Franco and Chini. I expect he's going to snatch a few words with Roberto Galina, his tuner. And there are the spoils of victory, the garlands and the girls. Well, a very happy man, Franco Ancini, and why not? An absolutely brilliant victory from the young Italian.